sparkling wines sparkling wines are the wines which contains significant level of carbon dioxide which produces effervescence effervescence in simple terms is gas which gets released in the form of bubbles it also makes a drink fizzy carbon dioxide may either be produced naturally with fermentation or be forcibly injected later to have this effect naturally the wine is fermented twice once in an open container to allow the carbon dioxide to escape into the air as in any other wine making process and a second time in a sealed container or bottle where the gas is caught and remains in the wine simply we can say that by infusing or imparting carbon dioxide gas in a wine we are making sparkling wine the pressure level of carbon dioxide also affects our perception of a taste of a wine the higher the pressure the finer the bubbles are if we talk about the pressure of the bubble it is described in three terms number 1 is bd it is a wine bottled and capped under less than 1 atmospheric pressure or 14.7 psi psi is pound force per square inch semi sparkling a wine with 1 to 2.5 atm or 14.7237 psi number 3 is sparkling as per european union control wine with 3 or more atm can be labeled as sparkling wine carbon dioxide may be infused by several methods as you can see on the screen number 1 traditional method This method is used for making the most famous sparkling wine that is champagne. I have made a dedicated video on traditional method of making champagne. For the same please check the i button above and a link is provided in the description below. Method number 2 is charmed method or tank method this method came as an alternative to traditional method in the early 20th century the major difference between traditional and charmed method is that in traditional method fermentation and separation is done separately in individual bottles that means still wines are converted into sparkling wine into individual bottles but in charmed method base wines are added together with sugar and yeast also called liquor the tirage in a large tank of still wine which undergoes a secondary fermentation inside the tank and carbon dioxide released during secondary fermentation cause the tank to pressurize After that wines are filtered dosed with expedition liquor and bottled wines are not further aged in bottles the wine made from this method is more affordable and it's still used for making fine sparkling wines transfer method This method is a mix of traditional method and tank method. This method is similar to traditional method up to secondary fermentation. The secondary fermentation takes place inside bottles. After which the wines are emptied into a pressurized tank and then sent through pressurized filters to remove sediments, dead yeast or lees. After filtration the wine is packaged into new bottles. This way time is saved which is spent in the process of riddling and discouragement. Continuous method. 
This method was created in Russia and is similar to tank method with a slight variation. Till first fermentation, the process remains the same as base wine. For secondary fermentation, the pressurized tanks are connected in a series where the base wine is pumped into the first tank and liquor the tirage which is a solution of yeast and sugar is added. After the wine is moved into another tank with yeast enrichments. Please note that these tanks contain oak shavings or chips. The yeast cells absorb these wood shaving and chips and ferment the sugar further and the wine is circulated around them. This enhances the yeasty and toasty flavor which also helps in clarifying the finished sparkling wine. Finally, the wine is moved into last set of pressurized tank where it is clarified and any remaining sediments are removed. As wine flows through series of connected pressurized tanks, and a continual addition of yeast into these tanks makes it possible to increase the pressure to 5 atmospheres. It is for this reason it is called continuous method. This process takes several months. That's why there aren't many producers except some large companies in Germany and Portugal. Now comes ancestral method. As the name suggests, it is the oldest sparkling wine making method. It is also known as petulant natural or pet net. In this method, before wine completes first fermentation process, it is transferred from tank to bottle. This fermentation process is stopped or paused in the midway by controlling temperature. That is IC temperature and the wine is transferred from tank to the bottles and corked. First fermentation process gets completed and carbon dioxide gets trapped in the bottle. It is then disgorged and rebottled. Some brands or companies choose to skip disgorgement process which results in cloudy, earthy and textured wine. So in this method, there is no secondary fermentation. Only first fermentation is completed. Half in the tank and half in the bottle. Half fermentation done in the bottle traps the carbon dioxide. The last method that is carbonation or you could say gas injection or industrial method. It is one of the simple and fastest methods of making sparkling wines. Actually, it's more like carbonating a still wine using an injection of carbon dioxide. Like in case of soda, that's why it is also called soda method of making sparkling wine. Although the quality of wine is low, but the quantity of wine is high. That too in a very short period of time. It is to be noted that due to inferior quality, the bubbles dissipate quickly from the wine as compared to other sparkling wines. I hope you liked the video. For any doubts or suggestions, Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe Hospitality Broadcast. Stay tuned.